<laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! GX Beginning of Destiny. Okay, anyway. We got 90 days till the tournament at happens. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> it says recording. It is now. It is one in the almost, almost two and about two in the morning morning of this recording, and the follow-ups too. So don't think I'm um, going to get up Scott free most part. Fero, how you doing, little kitty cat? Meow. Hit his head. Meow. Is, wow, very good attempt there. Alright, wait a minute. I knew that didn't seem right. Fuck. Shit, I knew something didn't seem right, but fuck. I think it'd be like that, though. There we go, a little bit better. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. I was gonna start dueling some people now. Let's duel other people besides the main cast. And the one guy I keep picking on because he's easy points. Uh, there's actually one duelist that will give you a run for his run for your money. It won't be that. Uh, not this one. Where is he? He has the uh, Heaven and Hell uh, deck. I think it's only in the mornings though. Um, he's here. I know at some point, in the, some point in time, you actually can do. I know. I don't remember where every character is. I know where main characters are in the morning. Where, where you? Well, they give you an indication of where the hell they are. But I don't remember where um, this guy who has the heaven and hell. Oh, there he is, Yan. Yan has the cards I'm thinking about. Nope, not wrong button. Oh, don't get the fuck out of there. Item. Um, got a bunch of sandwiches, but none of them are moving like freaking normal sandwiches. Okay, anyway, let's do Yan. Um, yeah, he's got this weird thing going on. He's basically have like a mixture of a uh, pandemonium, like basically arch, d devil cards, devil cards and angel cards. His deck revolves around uh, a war uh, the Zoa warrior, warrior card. It's a little four monster, um, and depending on which card he has on the field, in terms of like the like, um. Like, uh, like the field spell he has, if he has Pandemonium, he can, um, summon the dark version, what it basically, what would happen if the card were to go to hell, um, it came to the demon ruler kind of shit, that kind of stuff, anyway, I'm gonna tick on Yan, I think Yan was one of those few people who gave me problems as well, I don't, again, don't call me that, or call me out on that, because anything can happen in a duel, so, we'll start by setting Battle Footballer, this and we'll end our turn. Okay, Yaz turns up, and normally he goes for the activation of a pain and ammonium, which for some strange reason causes the game to lag like hell. It's the game. If you start seeing this thing lagging, it is the game, not the camera for camera footage. Right here, it's taking it's mainly focusing on all of that whole thing and everything starts to lag. Even the fast push fast paced thing, it starts to lag like hell. Okay, anyway, uh, Zero the Manta. And damn it! Now, when it comes to monsters attacking, you normally rely, when it comes to the peers anyway. Shit. I don't know what to do here, because, um... I know I'm going to take a 2800 life points of damage right at this point in time. But fuck. I didn't expect to summon Zero the Manta already. Damn! That was just quick. And his Manta the Ray Manta is gone down the fucking drain. 
Cause guess what I can do? Gatling dragon, bitch. Hey, you like them apples? Now, this is tricky. See, if this thing, okay, now, this is weird. Once per turn, you can toss a coin three times. Destroy a monster on the field equal to the number of heads. See, I'm in quite a pickle. Because, one, my monster, if I were to toss three heads, which would be the combination of getting heads and probability is that you're flipping a coin three times. There's two results out, two results for each one. Therefore, it takes tosses, but every time it's a 50-50 chance. And it's for each of those tosses. So there is a 30% chance I can get one head to one of them. So I can activate it, it's a fate, but I'm not gonna take that one little risk yet. Because I'm afraid a little. I'm a little afraid at this moment. Until he starts build up against monsters. Okay, at this point in time, I may need to do that then. I guess you're right. It's a duel. You gotta have some risk. Okay, honestly. I swear, if I screw this up, it, it's gonna look bad on me. Okay, the lag is horrible. Tails. Oh, there's a guarantee right there. Heads. As long as one of those tails, I can safeguard my card. There you go. Wow, damn. Already a direct attack. I, what? What? Damn, I got a direct on, attack on him right off the bat. Damn. Well, shit. You summon his problem with my card, I summon mine. How... How very, uh, how, how very tight, eye changing. Wow. I mean, but damn. I was expecting to get a tails though. Uh, I mean, for like the first flip. I figured like it would stress me out and have two heads right off the bat and have a tails right at the end, stressing me the fuck out. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Ah, bollocks. You have got to be shitting me. I got rid of it just to have it go back on the field. How oh, fuck. Tis my tide changing has turned into a shit change. Ah oh, man. I just gotta set the loss here because I can't win against this one. This, this one was an awkward one. And besides, Pandemonium is not helping because of how slow it takes. And I swear he's gonna summon another Zara, I bet. I bet he's gonna summon another Zara. Yeah, he's gonna summon another Zara of the Manta. Nope. Nope, he's gonna straight up, flat out, and nail me to the floor. One and one last nail in the coffin. Hello. No, I was gonna say I, I only want to show this off just to show you that this son of a, this guy has a very as pandemonium and it lags like hell in this game. It is a very laggy card. It's a card that causes severe lag. I'm surprised that shit didn't get a a forbidden thing on this game. And more how laggy it was. I'm pretty sure on the original Tag Force Dimension you can use like forbidden cards and shit. I don't know, I just don't understand why the lag of it all. And over here, what did I say? Ray? I never know Ray. I actually want to know what his deck is though now. Okay, Rick, let's see what you are. I'll go first, if you don't mind.
Oh, he's a machine user. I shall bring it. I was just thinking, isn't this the same strategy you had la just about the same strategy I had last time? Well, just about. There's only a few minor differences. Okay, now he can do two things. I know he's going to do two things. One of those two things is to attack my monster. The second thing he's going to probably do, and most definitely is going to do, or or not do it at all, apparently. I'm gonna summon my ancient gear soldier. Activate my mage power. Then activate my horn of the unicorn. Now I have my Ancient Gear Soldier to attack his monster. Ancient Gear Soldier prevents the activation of any spell or trap cards during the dance during the battles when it attacks. So that's kind of good. It's a good card to have if you if you're an Ancient Gear person. It's good, but there's a lot of flaws with an Ancient Gear deck. For one, it only it only takes place in a battle in a battle only. So during a battle in a battle only. So therefore, you can't do. Oh shit. Oh damn. Well there goes my chance of things. Ugh. Keenan. It's enough to self-destruct it, but it's not enough to take it down. I still have a total of 2400. I really hate that blind destruction, though. It's a very risky move, one, on the opponent. You're certain the opponent doesn't have a card. Okay, this is pointless. Give me a fusion stage. Yeah, I already have a fusion gate on the field. Hey, not active, of course, but still there. And there goes another. S oh, no, wait, what? Huh? Roll out. Oh. There has to be a way to go about this. I don't know what, though. What is the question? As you can see, I have lost, therefore I surrender. Knowing that I would just lose right off the bat. No good no cards to summon equals no time to chant. No cards to summon equals no chance of winning. Ugh. I mean this deck isn't completely finished anyway. I'm just dueling just to get DP again. And dueling other people for DP. I'm not dueling my usual person. Okay, that is just wrong of you to say. General, just that's just wrong for you to say. It. Like, I won? Are you saying you never won a duel in your life? God. That's pitiful, then. I mean, you figured you would have won at least in one of every once. One in a while. Every one of. <laughs> won a duel in every once in a while, but shit! Cory Armageddon, man. Oh, Cory. Nice to meet you. 
conversation denied. He acts like a damn robot. What the hell? There is one duels I particularly like. Now the question is, can I find him? I think he's at the Slifer Red Dorm. <coughs> he's kind of similar like Jaden. He uses like fusion monsters and whatnot. But that's not why I like him. I like him due to the fact his his deck type is basically almost exactly well. Basically, his deck is just about almost the same type of deck I've been using in real life. It's a dragon deck, uh, but I hardly use it. Wait, is that him right there? No, that's Ivan. Huh, you do. Something you lack? Fiddle. A lot of people don't have a lot of problem with Pharaoh. Uh, wait, didn't he say something about the duels being shit? Yeah, I'll listen to the Academy. Um, Pharaoh makes a bad talk go into an okay talk and a good okay talk to a good talk. A good talk to a great talk. Trust me. I know who they are. If I was concerned as much, I watched the damn anime. Well, let's duel Ivan. Maybe this time I might need to take a second turn. Because I don't think first turn is suiting me so far. I lost two duels, duels going first turn. But then again, I don't think taking the first turn doesn't exactly matter. I just want to go for first turn just out of instinct. Well, that's because I don't. Well, well, when it turns to the, when it goes to the, uh, the of the, I can't speak. My um, handheld versions. I normally use. A, a, I normally take the first turn. You know the initiative. I normally take the initiative. And that and they and the decks in those games are fairly well balanced. I got like a good. I got like thirty spell and trap cards and thirty monster cards. Like so, max limit really. Uh, if you can tell, I'm going by five D's rules here. The, or at least the new rules that is now, anyway. I don't know if they put any limit or anything on, on the rules now. Like, is there any new things that they put as a forbidden card? Actually, somebody in the comments, put that down. Like, what what, news, what new rules have they added in, for the, in the fourth gen? What, what are the new forbidden cards? What are the new limited cards? What are the new semi-limited cards? I want to know. Okay, we already got a good hand here. We got Impachi. An Empachi, a robotic knight, and a bat foot battle footballer. Ah, that's interesting. This is good. This is very, very good. For starting, it is very good. Let's take it down. <coughs> anyway. You go. Clicking. Cool. I'll use this. Uh, dancing. Oh, that's right. 16 versus 700. No, the fairy of the fountain. That mountain, what the hell is wrong? Yeah, I'm drunk. Will now attack you directly now. 